Hi, hello. My name's Scott, uh, also known as Scoot or Scooteasy. And I'm sure you can tell by the title of this video, we're going to be talking about my future in VGC and what it means, I guess, for myself as a competitor and the channel going forward. So before we jump into the video, I kind of just want to touch on the structure of it, or at least how I plan on this going. Most of this is just off the top of the head, um, but I kind of just want to, you know, inform you guys on just basically everything going on. So basically to start off with, I'm going to tell you about my goals as a competitor and how it's going to affect the channel. Uh, and then, you know, the second part of the video is going to be kind of my ideas on how to implement it and kind of, you know, where I want to go with it. Uh, and then finally, I'm just going to open it up to you guys. And if you guys have any suggestions, um, especially about stuff I'm about to talk about, um, obviously, let me know down below. Um, obviously, you know, this is, to, it's you know, I'm not here without the community, without the people who watch me. So, yeah, you know, if you guys have any advice or anything like that, you know, stick around to the end of the video, listen to what I have to say. Um, and yeah, tell me what you think, I guess. But let's jump into it. So I guess to start things off with here, a little bit of backstory about me and myself as a competitor, right? So this year, um, well, the 2023 season, basically coming into it, I had no real intentions of trying to compete for the World Championships, right? I, you know, I would have loved to have gone to Japan, but it wasn't something that I was focused on. For me, I was kind of just playing VGC for fun and, you know, just making contact as I went. Uh, basically, I got to play at one event this year in Australia. Unfortunately, I didn't get to play it more um, just because of the way the season kind of got moved around last second. But I went to OCIC, um, you know, the Oceania International, where I placed top 64. Uh, and two of the people who, you know, the two people who beat me, um, I guess, towards the end of the event were Calvin Foster and JUX9. So I think I was like 4-1, 5-1 before I ran into Calvin. Um, Calvin then beat me in a pretty close uh, three-game series. Um, and then finally, Joe knocked me out in the the win and in, basically, um, you know, putting me at like 6-3. and three. Uh, basically the reason I bring that up is Joe was a, I believe he was the number one ranked American player. Um, if he wasn't number one, he was definitely in that top four area because he, he did get a straight day two invite to Worlds. Uh, and I believe he finished like top 32 at the event. Uh, Calvin Foster was someone who I believe as well was four and O before he actually got DQ'd at Worlds, um, for day one. So two very talented players, you know, to like, I believe, you know, if Calvin hadn't got, um, I don't know what happened to Calvin, but if he didn't get DQ'd, um, you know, the two guys who beat me probably would have, uh, but, you know, both being uh, day tours and potentially, you know, top 32 at Worlds, which is pretty cool. But it obviously, you know, to me, it showed me that these were two incredibly good players. I managed to take them to three games um, off little to no preparation. Uh, for those who don't know, I basically locked in my Worlds team two days before Worlds. Um, actually, no, it was a day before Worlds, sorry. Um, I ended up making a change to it. But basically, it was like, sorry, I said Worlds. <laughs> I think it was like five days before OCIC. I just decided the team I had was not good enough. Um, and I basically completely rebuilt it. Um, so yeah, I went into OCIC very underprepared, um, played two incredibly good players, uh, and still almost made day two. So after that, I did really want to, I guess, continue um, playing the VGC, VGC circuit. Unfortunately, the Perth regional was like undoable, really. It was like two weeks after OCIC. Um, just work-wise, I couldn't get time off, but I fully intended to play Sydney. Um, and depending how Sydney went, I was going to, you know, think about trying to make this Worlds. Um, unfortunately, Sydney ended up getting pulled forward. It was meant to be, I think, like May 28th. Uh, and then I got pulled forward to like April 1st. And unfortunately, April 1st, just again, similar to Perth, didn't work out um, work-wise, you know, personal life-wise. I just couldn't make it work, which did suck because I did really want to go to Sydney in May for, uh, for that. But unfortunately, because of that, I only got to play one event. Um, and due to only being able to play one event, to me, it, it didn't really seem like worth it playing locals or uh, the Players' Cups just because, you know, for me, I would have liked to push for at least a, you know, an invite, sorry, a, a day to invite to World, um, especially to, you know, with travel awards and whatnot. Uh, makes things a lot easier, obviously, going to a world championship if, uh, you know, big Pikachu's helping you pay for it. Um, but yeah, you know, obviously, it, it's it's not cheap, you know, playing Pokemon, especially um, VGC, because, you know, fortunately for me in Melbourne, uh, we had OCIC. But if I wanted to, you know, go to Sydney, Perth, you know, it was going to cost me you know, at least a few hundred bucks in, you know, flights and accommodation. Um, and then obviously international, you know, you're talking a few thousand dollars. Um, but basically, that is my, my story on VGC for 2023. Um, and coming into 2024, I really want to make a push for worlds um unfortunately they did kind of remove the day two invites which is fine like for me day one day two it doesn't matter um but really my goal i guess is to finish in the top four of australian players this year um and i guess that's kind of where this idea for this video all started right so going into this season um i fully intend on playing worlds as long as you know everything lines up obviously first of all i got to qualify right i got to go to all the events uh, i got to qualify and then once i've qualified obviously um i got to get to what well, is looking like hawaii at this point but i do know there are people saying that it potentially could get moved um that's not for me to decide though. i'll leave that to big pikachu and all those guys 
But basically, the reason I guess for making this video as well is, you know, I've kind of touched on my goals, right? Like, I want to go top four in Australia. Um, I want to play at all the regionals uh, and OCIC. So, uh, as far as I'm aware, we'll have the Queensland regional probably end of this year. Uh, we'll have Perth at some point, probably early next year. And then we'll have both Sydney and Melbourne. One will host OCIC, the other will host a regional. Or at least that's how it tends to work here in Australia. At least, at least that's what I've been told. Um, again, my first time ever competing was this year so everything's everything's new to me uh, but yeah i want to go to all that and i guess the reason I'm, I'm making this is because in order for me to i guess participate um at least at a high level right i need to put in a lot more work in terms of specifically grinding like individual teams or you know preparing for events right even if i've got a like a, something as simple as a local um you know for locals coming up I, I need to make sure i'm prepared to play these locals and get good results and, and i guess the reason that will affect my youtube in some way is simply because this year basically the way i did a lot of things was like i would build a team on showdown um and for me if i could run the team up on a fresh alt from like you know uh 1000 to 1500 relatively quickly um i'd be like you know what i can make a video out of this right and you know just go from there right and because of that i was able to pump out a lot of teams relatively quickly um you know obviously i used a lot of the same mods as a lot of people do um but yeah like I, I was able to make good teams that were i think you know decent on ladder right like these were teams that you could run up to you know masterful easily um, potentially even go, go even further than that. Like for me, that was the main goal. I wanted to make sure when I built a team, it was like, hey, I don't want to give you just like some crap, right? Like it's, for me, I, I kind of take pride in it, right? Like I want to be a good team builder. I want my teams to be good. You know, I want you to be able to, you know, get 15, 16, 1700 on showdown um, and then easily get to master ball, you know, on on cart. And I did have a lot of people, you know, comment saying like, hey, you know, I got the first, first time I ever got master ball was using one of your teams. And I mean, that was great. I love that kind of stuff. Um, but Unfortunately, I do think it's not that I won't be able to build teams for YouTube as much, um, but I do need to kind of shift the focus of the channel in a way that it allows me to still prepare for these events while also still putting out like quality content, right? I, I still intend to at least try to build one team a week or one team a fortnight um, and definitely showcase, you know, some of the, the top teams in the like, you know, in the meta or, you know, if there's someone on, you know, Twitter who like X now, I guess as well. Um, you know, I guess if they go out, you know, win a, you know, one or two on one tours, like, hey, here's the team. I'll be like, all right, you know, rather than me build a team this week, you know, I can showcase someone else's team. But also, I fully intend on still trying to at least stick to like four videos a week. So obviously showing off one team is like one video, right? I'm not going to make four videos out of someone else's team. And that's kind of where, you know, I'm, I'm getting into the second part of this video where I kind of want to, you know, give you guys my ideas on what I can do to, how do I want to word this? Like, my ideas on how I can kind of shift the focus from where I was uploading anywhere between like, you know, most of the time was like three, three or four videos minimum to like seven, depending on, you know, the, the time of the year and, you know, what had been released. Um, and, you know, I would have, you know, some weeks where I would upload seven battles or set like seven videos worth of battles, right? And I kind of want to shift away from that because as much as I, you know, do love battling and I do think it is some of the easiest content to make, make in terms of, you know, uh, you know, Pokemon, basically, you know, I find a, a team either I build it um, especially it's easy when I take someone else's team and just showcase it. Um, but those videos are easy. I kind of sit down, I record, you know, three, four battles, um, you know, edit it, upload it. Very easy, um, especially in the editing process compared to a lot of, you know, stuff like this even. Um, but the issue with that is they are probably the most time consuming simply because, you know, sometimes I'll have to build a team. I'll have to get it in game. You know, I'll have to ladder it up and showdown. Um, especially like when I'm the one building the team, you know, it could take me two, three hours of testing. Then I got to get the game, team in game. And then, you know, I got to then make a video and the recording itself could be anywhere between, you know, 30 to 50 minutes, depending on, you know, how long is it between, you know, stuff like that, right? It's, it's, it's the most time consuming where a video like this will take me less than half an hour. The recording won't take that long. Smack it all together. We go. Yeah. But uh, look, I'm also beating around the bush. I, I do apologize. I'm kind of rambling here. Um, basically, the gist of this is the kind of content I want to make is also the kind of content that can help me as a player improve. Um, and one big thing I really kind of want to look at doing is like replay, replay reviews uh, of not only myself, but other top players. Um, and I do have an idea of hopefully this weekend, depending how busy I am, um, I want to do replays for um, the Grand Final Two Worlds uh, and then Wolf Glick's Elimination Game. Um, they're two two videos I really want to do. Um, and then potentially as well, Joe UX9's... Um, uh, day two i think it was like round three he was on stream um so i'd like to review all three of those games because i think there's a lot to learn um especially when you know you're breaking down um what other top players do when you know you can look at their teams how things function um so i do think that not only would help me as a player like obviously sitting down and spending an hour looking at you know some of wolf's games 
Um, but I also think it's it's good content for you know people watching who maybe um, don't understand how to break down you know their own replays or you know go over reviews and stuff like that. Um, so that's like I guess the first thing. If, if you, will you guys be interested in that kind of thing, right? Do you just want to see me do a replay review? Um, not only of myself, other top players, um, and then even just some like other educational stuff, right? Like I, I do have some more long term goals as well, where I want to do more like. Um, I guess like evergreen content for, for people who like i guess don't know what that is as well like I, one of the biggest issues with like making vgc stuff at least in my opinion is you know i can go and make a video about you know oh so make make a team and you know play it on ladder right and say like hey here's the the new team i've just built right chances are if i built that team on regulation d it's not really going to be getting views in a month definitely not two months like once regulation e drops no one watches regulation d content right and so on and so forth it really feels like my videos have a maximum like three month lifespan right now and even then most of the time it's like maximum one month unless it's like a video that really pops off like i've had a couple videos but that'll still get you know views you know two three months down the line but normally it's like once a new regulation drops that's it right um and that also kind of like does lead into obviously you know reg e with the dlc coming up which is something i'll touch on a bit uh, you know, shortly um but yeah i want to make some more evergreen content where it's like it's it doesn't matter, I guess, if you watch it the day I upload it or if you watch it a year later, it's still, you know, useful. And I think there's a lot of things you can do with, you know, VGC in particular. Like, um, I do think there's like, like we have good resources in the community, but I do feel like we, we really do lack some of the, like the top content, um, especially like educational stuff for newer players and whatnot that some, you know, other games I think have got too much of. We just don't have enough, right? I, I feel like something as simple as like ev spreads and like understanding why people go to like a bump number what like diminishing returns are on defensive stats um how do you know put enough hp like what what like sorry not enough hp like a good hp stat on your moongus um you know whether that be like you know doing it for regenerator citrus berry stuff like that it's just a lot of little things like that that i think would be really good um and it's something i definitely like to do down the line um and i guess going you know as an extension to evergreen content um for those who don't know i have a second channel um, I haven't uploaded on it in like two months. I, I fully intended when I made that channel to do weekly uploads on it, where it was just something where, you know, it'd be as simple as it started off with me wanting somewhere to put my Nuzlocke content because I feel like I like I love doing Nuzlocke, but Nuzlocke on the main kind of don't, you know, VGC Nuzlocke, they don't really mesh. Um, and then, you know, also on top of that, um, there's other stuff I want to do. Like sometimes I just want to like sit down and talk shit about, you know, uh, my favorite starter Pokemon. You know, I've done two of those. I ranked the first stage starters and the the second stage starters um so at some point i will do the final evolutions so if uh if anyone has watched those and is waiting on it i promise it's coming um i've just been busy <laughs> especially once regulation d dropped i've been very busy um but yeah that's that's the kind of stuff i'm talking about right like if i make a nuzlocke and drop it tomorrow it can still get views a year from now like a great example is a guy i watch wacko um i think he he did his uh platinum nuzlocke um and it was like first month it had like 2,000 views something like that a couple thousand and then <clears throat> took him like a year but he hit 100k views on it so that's the kind of stuff I definitely would like to make down the line um or at least you know just as like a break from VGC or even VGC content that can do stuff like that right because I do think there's a lot I could do um that is definitely you know great like especially like algorithm wise getting views down the line things where it's like ah uh, you know regulation f drops like i don't care about my regulation b teams anymore like no one's gonna go watch my my reg b content when like reg e's out right so that's kind of something i also want to like work on there as well so again I'll, I'll i'll swing back around to that at the end but if you guys have like ideas for like evergreen content and stuff like that let me know um because i do have some ideas but obviously it's um yeah at this point it's just an idea um there is you know there's nothing really in the works because that that really is the kind of stuff where it's like, say, for example, on the lead up to, you know, the potential Queensland regional, um, I'll be strictly focused on like VGC for, you know, six to eight weeks, probably. Um, and then maybe after that, it'd be nice to, you know, maybe month of December, I can just chill, you know, play some DLC, make some fun, you know, um, discussion videos about potential leaks. Um, obviously, what's going to change when we finally get my guy Whimsicott back um, and all that kind of stuff. Now, I guess going into the final part of this, um, I do just want to apologize for that second stage. I feel like I've rambled a lot. Um, I hope I was able to make my ideas clear. Obviously, I'll have to watch it back myself. Um, but finally, opening up to suggestions, right? I guess first thing is, what do you guys think of, you know, me strictly just trying to stick to a, a like four videos a week, right? Um, my game plan would be for me, Tuesday, night, Wednesday, uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. 
I feel like that's the, the best schedule where I can still, you know, focus on practicing my VGC stuff, you know, grinding out teams. Um, then I, it also allows me still to have a personal life, which is important. You know, I got a girlfriend, I got friends, so I need to spend time with them. Um, and then, yeah, I just think it's, you know, like obviously like, you know, when the DLC drops, right? Even if I say, oh, I'm just going to do four videos a week for the next three weeks. Once uh, September 11th, I think it is hits when the DLC is going to drop. Um, I'll probably do weekly for at least a week or two. And then again, I guess the type of content as well will be, as I said, um, obviously battles will stick around. I probably just want to cut them down to probably like two battle videos a week. Um, obviously I do love talking about like, um, you know, DLC, new Pokemon coming in and whatnot. Uh, unfortunately, that's something that's probably only going to be really around for the next probably four months. Um, obviously once DLC two drops, um, we're probably going to have a dry spell um, in terms of obviously new Pokemon news, um, going forward. Uh, but obviously, uh, more educational stuff as well. As I said, replay reviews, I I'd love to do like one a week. Uh, but obviously that just comes down to how well they're, um, you know, received, right? Whether that be, you know, if I do someone like Wolf you know, does a stream, I review some of his games. Uh, maybe there's an online tournament that's, you know, that's out or potentially like a, a regional, right? Or, a, you know, international. Maybe I could break down some of those games. Um, obviously, speaking of regionals and whatnot, that's another thing, obviously, I'll, I'll touch on, you know, whenever there's a, you know, probably like for me, at least on Mondays, I do love going over and just looking at what happened over the weekend, whether that be a regional, uh, you know, limitless tours, whatever. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think of that. That's kind of like where I'm thinking at the minute it would be like, Maybe like a Tuesday would be something like, you know, a um, like reviewing what happened over the weekend and some tours. Uh, Thursday, probably a battle. Saturday, uh, potentially like a replay review. Sunday, another battle. Um, especially too, like I've got a draft league that I'm playing in right now. Um, but unfortunately, I am pretty close to getting eliminated. Um, so whenever I get eliminated, um, those will probably stop. Uh, but who knows? Maybe I keep going and I just stick it out and just push through the loser's bracket. Um, but yeah, that's that's that kind of part of it. Um, I guess the, the next part too, which I haven't really touched on um, in the video, which is funny because again, it's another big reason why um, I wanted to make this video was a big reason, I guess as well, that I'm I'm pretty comfortable saying like, hey, I'm going to you know attend as many regionals as I can this year um, is because financially YouTube is helping a bit, right? Um, obviously, you know, I'm still a pretty small channel, but the, the money I make on the videos is it's enough to where I believe I could at least, you know, like YouTube could at least fund two tournaments for me this year or this coming season. Um, obviously the Melbourne tour like tournament, I don't, yeah, like but whether it be the regional or the OCIC, um, doesn't matter. I live here. I'm close enough to the venue where that's like literally all I've got to do is pay for food. So I don't care about that. Um, but at the minute, like obviously YouTube should hopefully be able to at least, uh, it will help me pay for um, Queensland. I know that uh, I've been saving up for a little bit on that. And then I'm hoping, you know, YouTube will also be able to fund me going to both Perth and Sydney next year. Um, and that's kind of why I want to like open it up to you guys, I guess. And for me, it's like, I feel weird about opening like a Patreon and stuff like that. Um, cause I don't really know what I, I, I can offer. Like I see people, you know, like, Hey, join my Patreon. You can join my discord, but it's like, I don't know if that's something people want, let me know again. Like I don't <laughs> like for, for me, it's, it's, I don't want to say it's weird, but it's odd. Like, I don't want to be like, Hey, pay me money to join my discord. Um, but there are other things too, you know, obviously I know with like YouTube as well there, like YouTube itself is always pushing me to like, um, sign up for the membership stuff or whatever it is. Every time I look, I load up my, uh, my page on YouTube, it's always like, Hey, finish off your membership stuff. So I don't know, maybe that's something I could do. If people are interested, I could open up the memberships and I don't know, people could join for like $5 or something. I, I really don't know. Like I, I'm open to it. You know, part of me says like stuff it, just open it up and see what people say. Um, but I guess if I was to open up, what do people want? Like, again, I feel bad just saying like, Hey, give me money for nothing. Right. Um, actually, I, as a matter of fact, I feel bad just saying, give me, give me money. Um, for me, it's a big reason why I haven't turned on the channel memberships at all is because I don't need the money. It's like, I, you know, I don't need it, <laughs> but I guess, um, obviously if I want to travel and play, it, it would be nice. You know, I, I've seen people like Neil VGC as well. Um, obviously, you know, he, he was able to fund his season thanks to his YouTube channel. And I guess that's kind of where I'd like to go. Um, but again, yeah, I guess monetary wise, if you guys have any ideas, let me know. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty open to it. As I said, I feel weird taking money for nothing. Um, I feel weird even asking for it. So if you guys have any ideas on things I could do, that would be great. Um, yeah, I guess that's really it. I don't know what else I can kind of touch on here. Um, yeah, that I get. Look, I came into this. It was kind of off the top of the dome. I do apologize. I feel like I've rambled a lot today. Um, if somehow you've made it to this part of the video, um, fucking good on you. Seriously, good on you, mate. Um, mustn't have been easy. Mustn't have been easy. 
Um, but yeah, guys, I guess we're at the end of the video. Um, yeah, if you could, obviously, like the video, comment, tell, you know, give me ideas that help you boy out. Um, and if you haven't already, click subscribe. If you made it here, uh, why don't you subscribe? I guess this might be a question. Um, look, also, I guess go follow me on Twitter. Um, I want to be a bit more active on Twitter. Uh, so yeah, go follow me there. I think we were like on the road to 100, uh, 100 followers, which is cool. I'm not super active there, but I'm trying to be. Um, I had something else I wanted to say and I distracted myself. Mm. Yeah, I forget what I was going to say. Um, also, I guess if you guys want me to make a Discord, let me know. Um, we can always chat VGC there. Uh, and go check out the second channel. Um, as I said, I love doing Nuzlocks and just talking about Pokemon in general. So, uh, yeah, if you want, go check that out. That'd be great. Uh, and yeah, if you made it here, thank you. Love you lots. Also, let me know if you want to see the webcam more. Bye.